You a vlogger, facing over You a queen when I less than I'm a boozy Oh why me, oh why me 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 Hi my ninjas, how are you doing? It's your girl or I'm in the Shwajoro aka Miss Fear for Color Brain Back for all entertainment. If it's the first time joining me, you must definitely welcome. Please do make sure that I subscribe and obviously hit the bell. I absolutely love you, Shibaba. Okay. Now guys, we're having a YouTube masterclass this Saturday. So it's like four days. Um, you know, from now the price ticket is only 390 rands. So we'll go ahead and pay, send proof of payment, and also indicate if you're going to come live or you're gonna join us online. Okay. But anyway, that is that ninjas. Mm -mm -mm. I come to bring you news, Shibobo. Now, of course, this is alleged. I got this from MDNTV.live, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and just read for you guys here because I am shocked. I'm sure that you guys, when you saw the headline, you were also like, uh, wait a minute, whoa? Because it's crazy as hell. But anyway, guys, um, so this is what they are actually saying. So they are saying, um, sorry, fake Dr. Matthew Lorne sues Department of Health 9 million rands. She bobonke, 9 million rands. So they are alleging that, according to Z Moja, popular TikTok and fake Dr. Matthew Bonganilani, who was arrested in October last year for impersonating a medical doctor, is suing the Health and Department of Health for being manhandled by the uh, security guards um, at the Helen uh, Joseph uh, Tertiary Hospital. The bogus doctor, who had almost 300,000 followers on TikTok before his account was closed, has instructed his lawyers to sue the department for unlawful and malicious arrest and detention by the guards at the hospital last year. In a letter seen by Z Moja, Lan is demanding damages of 9 million rands from the department. Um, it reads, it is our instructions that on or about 29 October 2023, our client was maliciously and unlawfully arrested and detained by um, security personnel of uh, security and cleaning services stationed in Helen Joseph Hospital whose the ranks are unknown to our client. It is our instructions that our client was wrongfully and maliciously arrested and detained without an arrest warrant at Helen Joseph Hospital. Lani's lawyers confirmed to Zimoja that they will be serving the department with summons soon. Lawyer Paduchezo Owen City of SNT attorneys say that they have been instructed by their client to pursue legal action against the government. What you have seen is a draft of our letter of demand and we are waiting for our client to approve it so we can serve the department as per his instructions. City said the smooth operating line has since gained 50,000 followers after the initial closure of his TikTok account. A moment for my reading skills that have um, upgraded, guys. Like, you lot, well, not my ninjas, but the ninjas, because I know ninjas watch. You lot used to make fun of my reading capacities. We're not 100% yet, but from where we come from, <laughs> I get so proud of myself. You know, we learn every day. But anyway, <sighs> I think that one of the most craziest things is the fact that I do see him winning. Oh! I do see him winning. Especially if they don't. Wow. I knew when I saw that man coming out in crutches. I was like, sir, we, not a single place did we see you actually getting beaten up or assaulted. He was bleeding. But they alleged that that was because the guy was trying to run. And he fell. Now, if you guys remember, he was arrested 
and then he was released because they said that there was no criminal activities that happened here since he only lied i guess online okay even though he was online pretending to be a doctor from what we know because even till today Uga has never brought in that certificate or not the certificate the the what do they call this um his what do, do they call this man I remember personal number because I know personal numbers are for, for nurses. Uh, for doctors, Kana, what is it? Yeah, that one. You know, he has never given us his certificate. We've never seen his practice number. We've never, you know, he refuses. He claims it's for security reasons, blah, blah, blah. Even though this is public information, guys, because even if my name is Dr. Owami, if you search, go, 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 the, the uh, uh, doctors, what, what, you will find that my name is there and my practice number will always be there. So it's not like it's this big hidden secret. I personally just don't believe that the guy has it. I don't, that's the first thing. And I think that the fact that obviously they did let him go saying that, well, there's no criminal charges that are here or something like that. Even though we all know he was making videos, guys. This guy was making videos, walking around the hospital, pretending to be a doctor, which now even made people to actually say, well, if the hospital is not removing him, he's there walking around wearing scrubs. He's literally in the lockers, okay? That is a place where only like employees actually have to go there. The staff has to go there. He's there. We saw him in a video begging literally and actually apologizing for going there. So if Jubi is a doctor, why would you have to apologize? If Helen Joseph is a place of work, why would you have to apologize to go to the staff? They did find him with medication, if I'm not too mistaken, and then he claimed those were his ARVs. We don't know what he was doing with those pills over there at the hospital. That's when you can actually see that South Africa's law sometimes is a big joke. Because why did Matthew actually walk? He wasn't supposed to walk. He was not supposed to walk from that. He was supposed to have at least faced certain criminal whatever. Or maybe they should have actually said, okay, we do think that you need vet copies. Instead of you getting jailed, maybe we are going to order you to go to vet copies. <laughs> and I think that would have been fine. I think that would have been fine, honestly. Um, but they didn't. And I think in that, they actually did give him power and for him to really, truly believe he's untouchable, he's unstoppable, and now he's suing them. And they might actually win, you know. He might actually win that money. So I don't know. Um, I think that they are definitely going to have to come up with whatever it is that they have to come with. But I do think that now they're going to actually take it a bit more serious and literally comb every single thing with a fine, fine, detailed comb. Because 9 million rands is no joke. And remember, if they pay 9 million rands, what are they going to steal? But what are they going to steal if they pay all that money? Who well, I'm kidding. I don't want to get sued. I don't know if they still or not. I don't even know who they are. But we all know corruption is wild in this country. But what I'm basically saying is that if they pay $9 million to Dr. Matthew, it's less money that can be stolen. So I think at this point, they're going to sit down. They're going to get a proper lawyer. And this time, I think he, he might actually get arrested. They might end up actually saying, well, there's this that you actually broke. There's that for this and that. And they might actually arrest him. I think if it was me, Dr. Matthew... Why am I calling him doctor? If it was me, Matthew, um, I would have basically just said, you know what? It was fun. It was fun. It's good. We cool now. It was fun. It's all good now. And keep it moving. But I think that, you know, obviously, I don't think that is okay. I don't think that is okay. Um, but this is something that I would definitely report on because I'm also just curious. Is Ugai going to win this one, you know? But anyway, go ahead and comment down below what you guys think from Wamine H. Bajoro and Dr. Matthew Lonai. We will see you guys in our next upload. I'm kidding, but definitely there will be an update that actually comes, right? Love you, ninjas. Bye.